So before I start, let me just tweet out the picture because as you know, things in Washington recently change on a tweet. So I just want to make sure that I catch up with the times. Thank you for that. As national president of the League of United Latin American Citizens, I'd like to welcome our esteemed guest to the 2017 LULAC National Legislative Conference and Gala. Applauding is good. Yes. Thank you, Jerry. At this point, I would like to ask a distinguished group of patriots present with us this evening. There are veterans, and a specific group of veterans called our green card holder veterans to stand and be recognized. For those of you that don't know what a green card veteran is, these are legal permanent residents that enlisted in the armed forces to fight for our country. Thank you very much for what you have done for us. As one of my favorite presidents, Ronald Reagan, once said, freedom is never more than a generation away from extinction. Our nation's veterans answered that call of duty and defended our freedoms. Tonight, we honor their service. A special thank you goes out to them. Can I please have all of the veterans in the room now, active or non-active, please stand and be recognized and thank you for what you've done for our country because if it wasn't for you, we would not be enjoying the liberties that we enjoy today. All of our veterans, thank you for your service on behalf of LULAC and a grateful country. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Another special thank you goes out to the members of Congress who have taken their time to be with us during their busy schedules tonight. Can I ask the members of Congress that are here to please stand up? Thank you very much for all that you do. And to our members of Congress, know this, we're with you, but we're also watching you. So that being said, teleprompter, if you can move it up just a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more. Perfect, thank you. I'm really bad with teleprompters, to be honest with you. But here we go. Our legislative conference meets in Washington every year to hold issue-related workshops for our members and to meet with our representatives to discuss crucial legislation that affects Hispanics across our country. I want to take the opportunity to thank our corporate leaders such as our diamond sponsor, Anheuser-Busch. Big round of applause, yeah. Our platinum sponsors, Comcast, NBC, Universal, Telemundo. Walgreens and Wells Fargo. Oh, come on guys, we can do better than that, yeah. Thank you to all of our sponsors. We really appreciate all the support that you give us and having made tonight's event possible. In addition, thank you to AT&T, Charter Communications, Cox Enterprises, Ford Motor Company, NCTA, the Internet and Television Association, Verizon, and Walmart. We appreciate your support, your dedication, and your friendship to LULAC over the many years. Thank you so very much. LULAC, we have and will continue to serve our community as the nation's oldest and largest Latino civil rights organization with the assistance of these corporate partnerships. So once again, thank you to our partners. Because of you, we are able to provide much needed programs to our kids across the country. Thank you once again. In 1929, our founding fathers had a vision for a volunteer-based organization with a democratic process for electing its leadership. Today, we remain a volunteer-based organization with a membership that devotes significant personal time to LULAC's mission. Why? 
because LULAC members are all volunteers, which is what we do is we help advance the social conditions and the quality of life for the Latino community. Now that deserves a round of applause because there's nobody like LULAC. Our heritage sets us apart from all other organizations. You know, the first LULAC meeting took place in a, in a Texas barber shop with only 37 members. It may seem odd to meet in a place like that, but in those days, it was the only safe place where Hispanics could gather without fear of losing their jobs or worse. 88 years later, LULAC's advocacy work continues to play a crucial role in ensuring the advancement of our community. Today, across the country, minority communities are increasingly fearing for their safety and security, and that is a shame. A surge in immigration raids targeting individuals, which include those without any criminal record, leaves many in the Latino community wondering, could I be next? These efforts to set neighbor against neighbor, rich against poor, and even the descendants of immigrants against hardworking, undocumented workers will fail if we can't unite as a community. <laughs> LULAC has a long and rich history of rising up and defending against such discriminatory policies. As we all know, this is not the first time that our community has been a target of discrimination. Some of our older LULAC members can remember the signs that hung in their local restaurants or theaters. No Mexicans allowed. No dogs, no Negroes, no Mexicans. We may think that that's, you know, something of the past, but that's only a couple of decades ago. In fact, in the decades leading up, to 1929, the year that LULAC was founded, the lynching of Mexicans was a common practice used to instill fear and intimidation in the Latino community. When we united as an organization in 1929, we rose up, we united, and we defended the Latinos in Texas. In 1929, LULAC was formed. But guess what also happened in 1929? The last Mexicano was hung in Texas because LULAC came out and organized and spoke against it. Yeah. yeah. That is the power we have when we unite for a common cause. We did not cower from hate then, and we will meet today's challenges by pushing back against the tide of injustice which is so prevalent today. As a part of our effort to defend our community, we call for an immediate halt to the deportation of innocent people who are in this country for a better way of life. <laughs> Mass deportations do nothing to make our country safe. Instead, sadly, they stain the very ideals that already make our country great. Such policies which only serve to threaten the way of life for thousands of innocent people have been met with resistance. Latinos and other minority communities are, ta are taken to the streets to voice our outrage. And we should be outraged because today it affects one segment of our community, but guess what? Tomorrow, it can affect us. But we must do more. We must hold our elected officials accountable. Right over there. <laughs> and I say it in the most respectful way. We have to hold our elected officials accountable. The power is ultimately with us, the people. Now, thank you for that. Yeah. We must hold our elected officials accountable not only with regard to immigration-related issues, but issues involving our veterans 
because the lack of health care that they're getting is terrible. And these are our veterans. Education. Where are we going now as a country? We need to stand up and defend our educational system because if not, our community is at risk. Our economy, where Latinos can get a fair shake at the American dream by working hard. And as you know, the immigrants that are here today, that's all they want, a fair shake. And of course, health care, a very important part of our life today. We must preserve what we can from the Affordable Care Act that benefits our community, period. <laughs> and lastly, we must protect our environment. For our children, for our grandchildren, we may not be here to see it. I probably will. I hope to live forever. I'll let you know how it goes. But we got to protect our environment. We only have one home, and that's called Earth. That's it. In order to be successful in these endeavors, we must organize like we did in 1929 and speak out with one clear voice and use all the tactics available to communicate our message. To that end, we have initiated a new campaign called Rise Up, Unite, and Defend, the basic principles upon which LULAC was founded. And it aims to empower our communities by raising awareness on civil rights laws that protect them and drive civic engagement efforts at the local, state, and national level for everyone. The campaign includes nationwide town halls with issue experts, nonprofit leaders, and community advocates who will call for support of legislation such as the Bridge Act, which Senator Durbin, who is here today with us, sir, we support you on that. Thank you for doing those efforts. Thank you for caring about the dreamers. And that is a bill that will protect our young immigrants currently enrolled in the Deferred Action Childhood Arrivals Program. The campaign will also include activating our vast grassroots membership because no other Latino organization has the grassroots that we do. Hallelujah. Yeah. I'm just making sure you're awake over there. All right. We're going to encourage students and the community to contact their members of Congress and push back against the discriminatory policies which have negatively impacted our Latino community. Any effort to make America great must encompass the ideals Americans hold dear and which have stood the test of time. Our forefathers stated in the Declaration of Independence, we hold these truths to be self-evident that all men and women and women are created equal and they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. As Americans, we all have a claim to the legacy that is the League of United Latin American Citizens. We are the oldest and largest Latino civil rights organization this country has. LULAC has set the standard for others to follow. We have often been imitated, but never duplicated. I knew you'd like that one. Just as in 1929, today, we remain committed to the principles of honoring our country, remembering our past, and striving for a better future for our children. Thank you. In the face of today's challenges, we will rise up, we will unite, and we will defend in the same spirit in the same spirit as we have been called to do for for the last 88 years. And in the end, my friends, I firmly believe this, we will succeed in making America great for all Americans. Thank you very much and have a great evening.